So um, this is the campus of North Park um, that you can see from above. And North Park uh, is, um, is not a typical art school, um, if you have any experience in looking at art programs. Um, instead, our program is part of a liberal arts institution. And so that means that um, we're a small university with lots of different majors across the humanities and the sciences and the arts. And students take classes in all of those areas. Um, but then, of course, choose a major and specialize or focus on that major. But all the while that students take these classes across their own discipline, they're also taking classes across the rest of the university. And there are a number of classes that um, integrate multiple disciplines together. So one of the benefits of studying at a school like North Park, and there's lots of um, liberal arts institutions, and so Sonia Center at the beginning um, phases of your college search, um, one thing that makes um, a liberal arts institution really different from, say, um, an art school or a bigger university is that ability to um, to have a, a broad um, curriculum where you're um, working in a lot of different disciplines. And you can even double major in other areas of the university or get minors. Um, so there's lots of opportunity for um, learning across, um, across multiple areas. Um, and one thing that does that process, I think, of um, having a liberal arts foundation where you're really getting, um, getting a lot of different experiences is it brings um, the full community together into the arts in ways that um, where you're in more specialized programs, things become a little more siloed. So students who are in other parts of the university are still taking art classes and um, are involved in that artistic community on campus, just as you would be involved with other parts, other parts of the other disciplines on campus as well. This is just a, an image of one of our drawing classes. We like to work outside a lot of days. And this is fun because a lot of, um, a lot of people uh, come walking by and see the students working. Um, but one thing that's interesting too is our students can do things like take classes in anatomy where they're um, learning the human body really carefully, maybe even at the same time that they're taking a figure drawing class. And so um, art really becomes this intellectual as well as aesthetic enterprise. Um, and uh, this happens not just in relation to other disciplines, but within the discipline itself. Um, we really encourage students to be thinking about ways that their work goes beyond just the concerns of the art world and is really engaged broadly with the whole world. And this is the art building, Wilson Hall, um, where all of our classes are located. Um, but, uh, and, and North Park specifically is in Chicago. So we're not too far from Niles. We're not too far from where you are, but we're um, inside the city um, in the Albany Park neighborhood. And uh, we're right at Foster and Kedzie. And so we are in the city and have really easy access to all of the different galleries and museums downtown. So you'll be able to ride the L a lot to, um, to be able to get to those places. The school has a program uh, called the Catalyst Program. You can see this up here. And that's actually using the city 
as, um, as a classroom. So in any afternoon class that happens on Monday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday, students have a couple of days during the semester where they're going out into the city to do learning in the discipline of their classes in the city itself. Um, and one extra thing that's interesting about this particular slide is this card was designed by one of our graduates in the art program. Um, and I also wanted to just share some of the high quality work that our students, so even though we're not an art school, the student work that comes out of our art program is very strong. Um, this is one of our alums, uh, Stephen Signa Avilas, um, who's finishing his MFA program right now at Urbana-Champaign. This was one of the pieces he made um, in the year following his graduation, but came out of the um, our works he was making while he was at North Park. So you can see there's this very um, multi uh, medium, mixed medium kind of quality in this work, painting, graffiti, drawing, sculpture, all happening together. Rachel Lindsay uh, graduated uh, last May from Urbana-Champaign's art program down there. And uh, this was a project and in installation she made at North Park um, soon after she was a student. So we really try and support our alum um, by giving them exhibitions when we can, but also uh, give them opportunities opportunities to um, make connections to um, university programs where they might go to graduate school. Um, this is Faith Marie Zamblay. She actually is a master's candidate right now at Yale doing a comparative theater and um, literature and media. Uh, uh, studies. So she studied art, but she was actually a double major. She majored in both art and in communications. And so in communication, she focused on media and she was really interested in the cross section of media and art. And that's something she's continued to do writing and thinking about as she's in her program in graduate school. Um, and Daniel Warren Johnson uh, is a graphic novelist and artist, um, comic book artist who graduated from North Park. Um, he did the latest round of Wonder Woman uh, comic books. Um, but he's an interesting guy too, because um, another aspect of North Park is that it's a, um, it's an institution that comes out of the Evangelical Covenant Church. It has a um, faith foundation, though it welcomes students from um, every walk of life and every faith. But um, he was very involved in street ministry and homeless ministry while he was um, on campus. And that influenced a lot of the kind of drawing style he was doing. And um, he actually made a series of works in collaboration with some of the people he became friends with doing that work and um, made graphic graphic novels of their stories. But um, now he's doing a lot of different things as well. But not just the um, not just the opportunities for studying across disciplines, but also the opportunities for um, service, for getting involved in extracurricular opportunities. Those things also really contribute to kind of the whole student experience of a liberal arts institution. He was also involved in um, doing some theater writing and producing um, some short plays at North Park. And that, again, I think goes into the storytelling of his work. 
Alonso Salgado is a CPS instructor here in Chicago. And uh, he, after leaving, actually, he was doing primarily painting while he was at North Park, but he took a class in stained glass and has been doing a lot of stained glass mural work. And so this is a piece of his work, um, but he's here in the city and um, got a teaching job uh, right, out of, um, right out of school and has been doing that. Um, with a lot of joy since um, graduating from North Park. This is our gallery space. And here, um, this is actually the work, this is the artist, Samantha G. And this is um, an image installation shot of her exhibition from her senior year. Every senior, um, is able to have a solo exhibition. This is another solo exhibition. Michaela Skolti was actually a double major as well. She studied both business and art. And um, hers is kind of interesting because many students when they're studying multiple, when they have more than one major, they'll, um, they'll be uh, integrating those two disciplines in their art making in some way. But Michaela was really looking to keep um, her research in her art making separate from um, maybe the, the discipline of business, but then she ended up using her, her business acumen that she was able to gain in the School of Business to really sell a lot of her work at the end. So in the end, there was some crossover, even if in the, in the meaning or content of the work, there wasn't really necessarily crossover in a place like North Park. You can learn those entrepreneurial skills if that's something you're interested in to learn how to, um, how to sell your work. Laura Ferguson uh, did video installation and some uh, light and color installation for her exhibition, her senior exhibition. And she uh, now is a graphic designer for uh, suburban park districts and, um, and is continuing to make work. She um, She's interesting too. She's one of our students who was really able to use her internship opportunity really well. She worked for WTTW as an intern while she was at North Park and learned a lot about not just graphic design there, but video production and other skills she's been able to put to use in in her work. Um, this is the work of Jessica During. She, um, this is her senior exhibition. So you'll probably notice all of these senior exhibitions are really different. Um, the students' work is all really different. So one thing that I think is really unique about our program is we don't emphasize one way of making art, but really try and figure out what the student's strengths are and work with them closely um, to help them develop those, those interests and strengths in their art making. So we get a huge variety of outcomes in the ways that students are approaching their art making. This is another artist, um, Jeanette Habash, who continues to be an artist uh, since she's graduated. A uh, series of work she did exploring her family history um, in Palestine and in Jordan, looking at old photographs. Jake Laser did photography and painting and video as a part of his senior exhibition. So again, pretty much every kind of media, um, every kind of way of thinking about art making um, happens at North Park. This was a really fun exhibition by Mia Larson uh, where she took a lot of art historical kind of paintings and did interesting um, takes on them. And uh, this is uh, alum and students and faculty here. Uh, we have a really great uh, collaborative 
um, strong community here at North Park. And that's something that we really see as one of our greatest strengths as a university uh, department. Nana Okore, one of our faculty is an internationally known and celebrated artist. She teaches um, for us in sculpture uh, and that's in drawing. Those are her primary courses, but she also does um, every other year teaches courses in video work. So she makes really interesting work related to the environment and related to um, reuse of, of commonly discarded materials and remakes them into these, as you can see, really large scale, beautiful pieces. And Maya Durham Rayner is our specialist in printmaking and graphic design. She heads these areas and she's doing really innovative things to um, bring our uh, printmaking and graphic design, uh, the, those parts of our programs together so that graphic design students get opportunities to work in analog modes as well as, um, as well as working uh, with um, the, the typical tools of the graphic designer. And we also have really wonderful part-time people who teach for us, including Emily Linskoog, who's, um, who's really doing a lot of um, art making and exhibiting here in Chicago right now. Um, and a lot of her work explores the experience of parenthood. And Jordan's, Jordan Martins um, is one of our other part-time folks. Um, and he was just named last year, one of the Chicago's visual vanguard. And he teaches photography and two-dimensional design for us as well as ethics of creative practice, which is a really important pro part of our program. It brings together the philosophical thinking and concerns about ethics with our particular discipline of art making um, and just helps students really think about how, how do we engage in the practice of art making in ways that um, benefit the world at large. And that really is in keeping with the ethic of the university as a whole. This is Tim Lowley. Uh, he is um, our gallery director. He teaches our advanced painting classes and our figure drawing class um, and also an internationally known and exhibited artist. Um, he is seen here painting a lot, one of his large scale paintings of his daughter, Tema. So all that to say, um, our particular program, I, I feel really proud of, um, but I would encourage you to think of about just the benefits of being at a place where you can gain a really well-rounded experience, one that includes sharpening your writing skills and, um, and uh, helping you engage in all sorts of different disciplines that broaden your thinking that you can put back into your art and that can also benefit you um, in whatever way your professional life takes you in the future. And of course, other things that are possible with a program like North Park is that if you are not interested primarily in studying art, but are interested in another discipline, studying say um, English or nursing or psychology, those are, those are fields that you can study and still be taking art classes. So that's something um, I really want to um, encourage you to consider as you're looking at schools. For some reason, I'm having difficulty stopping my share and seeing the screen. Can you guys hear me still? I can hear you. Okay. Yes, For some you're reason, good. I can't seem to, okay, here we go. I'm trying to <laughs> stop the share. Okay, I was able to do it. All right, I got it to work. Um, Aaron, is there anything you think I should